Today I'm working on a solution for my lathe tools. Uh, previously in a shop setup, I had my cart and lathe over on the wall that you see where the clamps and the drill press is currently sitting. Uh, but since I've moved the cart and lathe over to the garage door, um, and I don't really have anywhere to hang my tools or keep them where they're easily accessible. So I had a couple of pieces of scrap plywood, uh, and, and also in a previous setup, I had a lot of French cleats that I've taken down, but I held on to them. So I'm going to reuse those in this project. So I'm just going to cut these down to size and screw them to the pieces of plywood that I've got uh, that I previously just measured. And I'm going to hang them on the garage doors. As you can see in the background, I've got one already hanging there. And then once I get through attaching this cleat, to this piece of plywood. I'll hang it on the garage door as well, but my OCD kicks in and they aren't quite even. So I'm gonna take one of these over to the uh, table saw and just trim off the top edge to just kind of make me feel better. And now I can hang it back up and everything's nice and even. <laughs> now you may be asking, well, what if you need to use the garage door for anything? that's where the cart comes into play. I'm going to be mounting the other side of the cleat to the back side of the lathe cart. And this is going to give me a few options. The first reason for doing this is if I do need to use the garage door, I can wheel the cart out of the way because I have to move it anyway. And then I can hang the boards over on the back side of the cart just to get them out of the way until I get done. And then once I'm done with the garage door, I can put everything back in place. Or if I want to wheel the lathe out in the driveway to turn, uh, I've got somewhere to hang these boards uh, with all of my tools, so that's good. And then also if I need to store this, this cart and lathe and all of my tools in one place, I can do that as well. So it gives me a, a lot of different options here, and I think it's a winning solution. Now, all I'm doing here, I've found the uh, mounting points, if you will, from measuring the front side, figuring out where uh, the shelves are to be able to screw these in. I just leveled it up and everything. Uh, went in perfectly. Uh, no issues, just a, just a few screws on the back side is going to hold this in place just fine. So let me just stop just for a second in case you don't know what a French cleat is. Basically you have a board, a piece of plywood that you're going to rip into two pieces but you need to tilt your table saw blade to a 45 degree angle or somewhere close to a 45 degree angle and rip this board into two pieces. Now as you can see this is not exactly uh, two equal pieces here but that's okay. Uh, it's still going to work just fine. So you've got two pieces. This piece on the bottom side and to the right would be what would be mounted against the wall and the top part would be mounted on your project or whatever it is you're hanging and when those two pieces come together it gives you a nice strong connection. Now that I got the boards hanging up and the other parts of the cleats on the back of the lathe cart, I can start loading up my boards. But there's another part to these French cleats that I want to tell you about. Usually when you're using French cleats, you want to have something on the bottom side of whatever you're hanging to kind of give you that equal distance off the wall from top to bottom. Well, with the garage door, you have different panels. Just make sure your plywood is long enough to reach the next panel and it should give you the equal spacing from top to bottom just as if you were adding a spacer to it. Now to just demonstrate on how this looks when I get ready to use the garage door I just wheel the lathe cart out of the way and take the boards off of the garage door and hang them on the French cleats that I installed on the back of the cart. Uh, and that's really all there is to it so I can see how really easy the, and handy this is going to be if I want to turn something on the lathe say out in the driveway. So. Uh, I'm really going to like this setup. So if you've got something similar, uh, this can work for any bench top tool or mobile cart that you may have. Uh, and if you're not utilizing your garage door in this manner, maybe this is a good setup for you. So I want to mention here while you finish watching the demonstration is to check out the website article. I've written an article on my website. And if you'll follow the link in the cards up above and also the link down in the description, you can check out the article where I go into more detail about what I did and how I did things. And so I just think this is going to be a really useful project and you guys can 
probably come up with a lot of useful projects to hang on your garage door. Uh, one thing to note is I just wouldn't overload it with a lot of weight. Uh, this is not heavy by any means, and so I'm not really concerned with the garage door um, being damaged. I want to take just a second to thank Branded Bills from Instagram for this awesome hat. It's a great fit, quality product, and so if you are interested in a branded hat for yourself, contact Branded Bills on Instagram. There's a link down in the description, and tell them I sent you. So be sure to check out all the links down in the description. Thank you for watching. If you're not a subscriber, please subscribe. Hit that like button. Leave a comment and share with your friends and family. See you next time.